Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Windows 11 onto an Acer computer. To do that, I'm using a Windows 11 install media USB that I created for myself for free. If you want help creating it for yourself, there'll be a video link above. Also below in the description showing you how you can make this yourself for free off of the Microsoft site. If you can't make it yourself or you prefer to purchase it, there'll be another link below in the description to my Amazon store. It'll show you several options that'll work. Make sure to get install media and not recovery media. And just to handle one of the most frequently asked questions on this operation, this install process assumes that your computer does not currently have a working operating system on it. That's why we're using the install media USB to install Windows 11. If your computer currently turns on and functions with a previous version of Windows, there's a much easier way to install Windows rather than doing it with the USB. You would simply go to the website and click update now and it would update your operating system from whatever it is, I'm assuming Windows 10, it'll update it automatically to Windows 11 without going through the whole process that I'm showing you. If you need help with that, let me know. So first thing guys, power down your computer, make sure it's off and plugged into your charger. If your computer loses power during this process, it could mess it up, you'll have to start all over again. So make sure your computer's off and plugged in. So after inserting my Windows 11 install media USB, I'm gonna hit the power button and immediately start tapping on F12. Currently it's set to Windows Boot Manager on top, but the second option, the USB, that's what I wanna select. I'm gonna arrow down and hit enter. So it starts booting off of the install media USB. So this is the first option that you're presented with. If you guys cannot navigate this with your arrow keys or your mouse, try plugging in an external mouse. That's what I've done. Um, so this is an external USB mouse that I'm using here. But I'm gonna go through the options with you, uh, read them and decide for yourself which option is better because I don't know where you're watching this video from or what your situation is. Uh, but I'll take you through the options that I'm choosing. I'm just gonna hit next and then I'm gonna hit install now. These are just some terms and conditions. I'm gonna check the box down on the left to accept and then I'm gonna click on next. Uh, so this option, guys, this depends on what you're trying to do with this install. So for me, I'm getting this computer ready for resale. So I'm deleting all data on it. I don't want any restore points or anything. So I'm going to select this bottom option, custom install windows only advanced. Um, if you guys want to save your data, assuming it's still good, assuming your hard drive is good, um, you would select this top option, upgrade. So you would install this, but also attempt to save your file settings applications. Uh, so pick whichever one is best for your situation. Um, those that selected my option on bottom to delete everything, you come to this window and I'm gonna delete each partition one at a time, because I don't want any data. Again, I don't want any restore points or anything on this computer. So once they're all deleted, I'm left with unallocated space. I'm gonna hit next to install Windows onto that. Um, those of you who wanted to save your data and didn't see that, you would just jump right to this window. Your computer may restart several times in this process, so don't, don't be alarmed, you can just let it restart, or you can click on the button on the bottom right that said restart now, but that may happen a couple times. So now the install process is almost done, just a little bit more. That took probably 15, 20 minutes to get here. Uh, so depending on your computer speed, that's what you're looking at. Uh, so now I'm going to select my country. I still have my USB plugged in mouse. United States, yes. Is this the right keyboard layout? Yes. Do I want to add a second keyboard layout? No, I'm going to skip this. You guys can do whatever. Uh, also, at this point, I'm going to remove my USB. Um, if it has to restart at some point here, and it senses your USB, it could start the install process all over again. So this may be a good time to take that, that USB out. Also now it's gonna ask me to sign up to my Wi-Fi. I'm 
Now it wants me to name my device. I'm just going to call it Acer. At this point, it wants you to sign into your Microsoft account. If you guys do not want to sign into your account at this point, uh, Windows 11 doesn't really give you an option. So you do have to sign in or create a Microsoft account. However, I will have a link up top. I'll also have a link below in the description showing you once you're in Windows 11, how you can take it off of your computer, how you can delete it from your computer, sign out of it, um, and not have it a part of your computer anymore. Now you can restore some of your apps and settings or you can set up it as new. Um, I'm gonna do set up as new PC here. I'm gonna create a sign in pin here. some more settings that you guys can look at um, to see which ones you want to keep. I don't like giving any data to people for free so I tend to shut all these off and I proceed that way. I'm also not going to accept any of the uh, um, trials that they have so I'm just going to skip this. Uh, but again feel free to read through these see if there's anything that you're interested in. I'm going to skip this one. I'm going to select not now. I'm going to decline and I'm going to decline again. All this stuff Microsoft tries to push on you, I'm going to decline this, skip for now. So that actually took quite a bit of time for my computer. I don't know about you guys, but that took almost 20 minutes, just uh, that updating process. So here we are at our desktop. I'm just gonna put in that pin that I set up. And it's a working Windows 11 desktop after it finishes up a few more things. So here we are at our Windows 11 desktop. So now the install's complete, you're at your desktop, good job. Uh, the last thing to consider here is this is a fresh copy of Windows. So there's gonna be a lot of security updates, system updates, driver updates, a lot of updates that need to be processed. And what's gonna happen at this point is as you use your computer for the next few days or even weeks, it's gonna be trying to run all those updates in the background. So you may actually notice your computer's a little sluggish. If you wanna get them all run right away, which is what I usually do, there'll be a video link above, also below in the description. It'll show you how to process all of your updates for Windows 11. So that's the video guys, I hope it was helpful. If it was, please remember to like the video, subscribe if you enjoy do-it-yourself computer tutorials like this. And for those of you that wanna support the channel a little further and leave a small donation, there's a couple different ways you can do that. First, right below the video to the right hand side, you'll see the super thanks button, you can click on that. You can select a tip amount here. Second way, you can use your cash app, find me at dollar sign PC helper. You can leave a dollar amount and you can even leave a little note. Thank you so much for watching guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.